Hey everyone, Kevin here from AirTrade, joined today with the wonderful Alistair Blenken, CEO and co-founder of ProcurePro, an incredible construction tech business that we had the pleasure of partnering with late last year. Context for this little video is that we see 2,500 pitches a year. And over the 10 years that we've seen these pitches, ProcurePro's fundraising materials stood out as plus the very best, if not the very best of uh, Series A SaaS startup that we've seen. It wasn't just the pitch deck. It wasn't just the amazing modeling, the back end, how portfolio was. It was actually one particular document that really stood out. It was this one called the Business FAQ. We think everyone from pre seed to Series B could learn a little bit from it. Um, mm -hmm. We're excited to share it with you all. I'm going to let Al quickly introduce himself and procure pro before we jump into a couple of questions about the document. Yeah, thanks for having me, Kev. Uh, so I'm the founder and CEO of Procure Pro. We're a construction tech SaaS platform. Uh, we help builders uh, procure the subcontractors better, faster, stronger. So uh, if you're building a tower, you need all the different subbies to get them on board. And um, we're a piece of enterprise software that consolidates the usual suspects Word and Excel uh, into uh, you know, a clean, sleek platform. And importantly for us, uh, we're on a mission to save a billion construction administration hours. Uh, thankfully, the charts go up and to the right, and we're pleased to partner with our tree to have a bit more capital uh, on board to uh, to achieve that mission, you know, sooner. Awesome. What would you say was the genesis of the business FAQ doc? Yeah, uh, look, the business FAQ doc, for anyone who hasn't re uh, read the article yet, is long form answers, you know, as succinct as possible, but, but pretty many answers to every question that, we're, that we knew we were going to get asked in fundraising. So really the genesis was when we're fundraising and going out to market and talking to investors, I want to be pushing them to book in meetings, to get to a decision, to, to build that FOMO, to move really fast. So it was about how do we front load that work? We sort of have an internal statement around fundraising that 98% of the work's done in the preparation. So you get that right at the front end and then the actual process should ideally, you know, go smoothly, even though we were fundraising in a really tough uh, market. And then there was an optics piece as well that we wanted to just demonstrate to investors, you know, really how good we were, that we had everything sorted. And, and that was that was the theory and, uh, and it turned out to be uh, pretty good in, in reality as well. Yeah, absolutely. And just to touch on that a bit, the way that you laid out every bit of your business and went into detail, but in a concise type format about how you thought about everything from ICP to go to market, to market dynamics across the board, to even the journey of how the founding group came together kind of answered a lot of the questions that VCs would ask in the first meeting. And so having that all there just shows like you had it together. You really had it together and it really helped us think actually harder about how should we prep for this meeting? What should we actually, how should we engage? And it's interesting that balance between pitch deck, which you're trying to do like less is more, how can we consume this in like a really light, get excited manner? But then also the detail that sort of sits beyond that, that if you're asked, if you're getting asked the same questions sort of over and over again by all these different investors, it's kind of like, how can we put that on their plate out of the get-go? Even if they don't fully read it, it is just that piece around going, we have our we have our shit sorted and then you know making the conversations more important about the business and probing around the edges rather than covering off the basics mm, mm. that would have saved you a lot of time a lot of probably an extra round with all the investors that you reached out to how, how did you find it received from your investors over your prospect yeah. investors? yeah well it was interesting i mean like we got we got plenty of quotes just going, oh, those materials are amazing. The sort of the, the gushing from the investor side, which honestly, like as we went through the process, we were kind of getting, yeah, yeah, I heard it all before. Let's get, let's get down to business. But it, it, it was that piece where you'd have these sound bites of, oh my God, these are materials are amazing. It's so comprehensive. We've never seen this before. These are the best materials we've ever seen. These are the top 5% of materials we've ever seen, top 10%. So when, you, when you're when you in a competition when you're raising money it's not just are we good enough as an investment but as you talk about you you see two and a half thousand pictures a year and you only invest in a really small proportion of them so you're competing against other companies attention bandwidth deal terms as well so it's like how do we make the the fomo real and and how do we make what we're presenting so compelling from a personal perspective as well it's like your, your business can be you know, however good on the growth and the metrics front, but at the end of the day, you know, investors are backing people as well. So it's kind mm -hmm. of 
that optics of, hey, this founder has absolutely got it sorted. And if this is how they're going to treat a fundraising, well, you know, they'll they'll be good custodians of our capital as well. Yeah, exactly. And I think we it was like if if you could treat a fundraiser like this, it shows how you would treat customers, it shows how you treat sales pipelines, it'll show you how you onboard potential new great talent that you hire. I think also talking to the FOMO part with your secondary I think a FAQ document, it really showed that there are a lot more investors looking at this and really built momentum for the round and made us have a sense of urgency to move much move much faster. What would you say you would change if you had to fundraise again, given all your learnings? Yeah, look, I mean, we we did this pre-comprehensive tempo FAQ, small margin, small tax, pretty mm. succinct. And then there was that follow-up. So there's probably a few questions that we got through the process that were sort of almost good to identify that we responded to. You could probably do a little bit more of that. You could sort of prep a little bit more with some other founders or friendly investors and get a few of those questions out of the gate. Whether you need to like actually provide all of them in the first pass of the documentation or, or then just provide them as a secondary and you could actually use it strategically as you've sort of given us the feedback post, it's kind of going, hey, there are questions coming into this round, there are investors and we're just going to provide that secondary FAQ to everyone around mm-hmm. here's how we're responding to the interest and the demand. So you can use it strategically to drive urgency in the round as well. So, um, but overall in, in terms of, what would that change for next time? I think it's continual maturity. Like we got some of these questions or a little bit of a light touch when we did our seed round, which is a two mil Aussie, but we did it from angels. And we got a few more sophisticated investors um, asking us some questions. And and that was for us the indication that, hey, that mm-hmm. you can kind of see what would be really effective at a series A. And then when we get to series B, we know we're going to need to go to another order of magnitude and, and detail. So it's about sort of horses for courses are are on your round and your level of maturity as a business, but getting in that habit of being able to write and explain your business is not just important for fundraising, but, you know, for potential future M&A as well. And and we actually provide this document to to senior hires uh, as well, who we we want to build a lot of conviction um, in the business as part of the recruitment process. So we say, Hey, have this document, read it. You can, you can see as well that that we we've got our, our ducks in a row. Has so much value from one document. That's probably a good note to finish on. Thank you so much, Al, for sharing this with us. If you guys would like to see the business FAQ template, we'll have it on our website available for download. I hope you all find it useful, if not in your fundraising journey, but just in how you think about a business.